Welcome to the Alkalife basic training session. We'll be looking at understanding the acid alkaline balance. There are many misconceptions about this subject, and we hope to dispel any confusion concerning alkalinity and our role therein. So here are a few basic questions to start us off. Do I want to be more alkaline? No. Can I change my pH? No. Is my health affected by my imbalance? Yes. And can I do something about it? Yes. So why would I be acidic? There are several reasons most people think of food, animal protein, fried foods, carbonated drinks, processed sugars, dehydration, and eating too fast. Other reasons outside of food and eating are stress, pollution, lack of rest, anxiety, excessive exercise, and high altitude. High altitude's an odd one. 200 Army Rangers were deployed in high altitude mountains, and in two weeks all 200 had kidney stones. The high altitude means reduced oxygen, which causes uric acid to concentrate. So we need to understand a little more about pH, or the potential of hydrogen. Here's the pH scale from 0 to 14. 0 is the most acidic, 14 is the most alkaline. 7 is in the middle, being neutral or base. Our blood pH must stay between 7.35 and 7.45. Outside of this narrow range, we die. So how do we maintain this narrow range? Well, the largest organ, your skin, manages pH through sweat. Sweat uses potassium and sodium to expel acids. Our skin or mantle is acidic and helps prevent bacteria from entering inside. But if you get cut and bleed, your blood will coagulate when it makes contact with the acid and form a scab. Likewise, if we have a fatty acid like cholesterol in our arteries, our blood thickens and clots internally. Secondly, our lungs remove CO2 or carbonic acid when we exhale. We breathe deeper when we sleep, so lack of rest increases the acid. Some people actually drink carbonic acid voluntarily. I'm going to put some water in this flask and drop some pH reagent in it. So we can see that it's acidic. Then I'm going to take my alkalite drops, or pH booster, and put it in the Dasani. As you can see, Again, it brings the pH back up to a 10. And now I'm going to blow carbon dioxide into the water. As you can see, the carbon dioxide makes the water acidic again. It actually takes 32 glasses of high alkaline water to neutralize one 12 ounce soda. Your kidneys maintain your blood's fragile pH balance. They use potassium and sodium bicarbonate to neutralize acid in the blood. When there's too much acid for the bicarbonate, they can convert the acid into a solid. These crystals attach to joints, organs, and bones, causing inflammation and poor circulation. The kidneys can also draw calcium bicarbonate from bone mass as a buffer. This can result in bone density loss. 
So what are the results of this acid waste? Gout, kidney stones, arthritis, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, high cholesterol, obesity, cancer, cardiovascular disease, cysts, GERD, osteoporosis, poor circulation, immune deficiency, chronic fatigue, and metabolic acidosis. In fact, every known disease, except for contagious disease, is related to an acidic condition. So it isn't a matter of balancing pH as much as a need to remove acidic waste. If your garbage collector only took 99.9% .9 of your garbage a week, at first you might not notice, but in 45 years you'd be living in a landfill. So why focus on water? More than 70% of your body is water. More than 90% of your blood is water. We need to reach the deepest cells, so we use hydration. So what about stomach acid? When we drink alkaline water, our stomach will produce acid to maintain a pH of around 4.0. But when we produce hydrochloric acid, the byproduct is a bicarbonate. Look at salt and water. We have sodium chloride and H2O. We can take the chloride and the hydrogen and form hydrochloric acid. But the leftover is sodium, one hydrogen, and one oxygen. Combined with carbon dioxide, they form sodium bicarbonate. This natural balance of bicarbonate production is known in the medical field as alkaline tide. The acid enters the stomach while the bicarbonate enters and protects the small intestine. However, if you supplement HCL, you may be causing damage to your small intestine because you're only getting half of that equation. Why choose Alkalife? Well, Alkalife was patented in 1994. It's the first and only patented alkaline booster drop. The patent is based on research that determined the ratio of potassium and sodium that our cells require and the pH level that was most beneficial to the human body. Potassium and sodium are the stronger ions. They're stronger than calcium and magnesium, dissolving uric acid instead of creating stones. Why take bicarb balance? Well, bicarb balance is also patented as an enteric coated slow release bicarbonate delivery. It was developed for people that may not drink enough water. It delivers the same patented ratio of potassium and sodium as alkali, but in bicarbonate form. When people supplement betaine hydrochloric acid, they don't naturally produce the bicarbonate necessary to protect the small intestine. Bicarb balance puts the bicarbonate in the small intestine by the enteric coating. ECAL was developed for people who are at risk of bone density loss. Some acids, such as phosphoric acid, deplete calcium bicarbonate from bone. ECAL is designed to form calcium bicarbonate as an alkaline buffer when it reaches the blood through enteric coating. Kidney dialysis patients cannot supplement potassium, so ECAL is a great alternative. Why Alkalife 10 bottled water? Well, unlike most alkaline bottled waters, Alkalife 10 is from a spring and not filtered tap water. Blue Springs is a quartz aquifer with a total dissolved solid at below 31. Most springs start in the thousands. The water is piped 100 feet below the surface of the spring directly into the bottling facility, so there's no chance of the water hitting carbon dioxide or any pollutants. It's infused with a patented Alkalife pH booster at the most beneficial pH of 
And finally, it's in half liters and liter BPA-free bottles. It's been tested after 20 months to still hold a pH of 10. Thank you for watching the Alkalite Basic Training Session. If you have any questions or would like to set up a live training session, please contact our main headquarters at info at alkalife.com.